Hello and welcome to the fifth video in the basic ECL concepts video series. In this video we will look at some of ECL's most commonly used built-in functions. In the last video we covered data sets which leads us right into the table function which creates a temporary data set in memory while the work unit runs. It derives the new table from the record set named as the first parameter formatting the result based on the record structure that is the second parameter. Optionally, it can do a group by result if you include any group by expressions as the third parameter. Table will either create a vertical slice table or a cross tab report, the group by form. In either case, its record structure is the key. Unlike a simple data set record structure that only needs to provide the data type and field name for each field, the record structure for use by the table also requires a third piece of information about each field, the source of the data. The first field in this record structure explicitly defines all three items, the data type, the field name, and the source of the data. The second field implicitly defines all three items. The person.per first name field has already been defined somewhere else for the person dataset declaration, so this field definition inherits its data type and field name from that previous definition. And the person.first name is also going to be the source of the data. The third field demonstrates one of the most useful characteristics of the table function the ability to create additional work fields by simply defining the data type and field name for the field and giving it a default value. So in this example, the name table is defined as a table of records derived from the person data set that will only use the first and last name fields from that data set and will add a work field for use in subsequent operations. This is a vertical slice table which creates a vertical slice of just the columns you're interested in working with from the data set. The number of records in the resulting table is exactly equal to the number of input records in the data set from which it is derived. The second example table creates a crosstab report to create statistics about the data. The table function has a group by field, state. In this form, you get one result record for each unique value of that group by field or fields. So the record structure begins with the group by field or fields, followed by the count aggregate function. When you're doing a group by table, there is no record set to count, so the group keyword replaces the record set parameter. It is this group keyword that actually makes it a crosstab report not the presence of group by fields in the table function. Group replaces the record set parameter in all of the aggregate functions count, sum, min, max, average, variance, covariance, and correlation when that function is used in a crosstab report context. Running this code you see three output actions. The first shows all the fields in the person file. The second shows the vertical slice table and the third is the cross tab report. The exists function answers the question did I filter everything out are there any records left to work with by returning a tr boolean true if there is at least one record. This function is much more efficient than using the count function to accomplish the same logic. The sort function sorts the record set based on the sort expressions from the most significant sort to the least significant. A leading minus sign before any sort element indicates that element should be sorted in descending order. Because the HPCC is a collection of servers working together in a massively parallel fashion to process, process your data, some operations require that all equivalent records be on the same node the distribute function redistributes the record set based on the integer expression second parameter so that every record in this with the same value ends up on the same node. This is usually one of ECL's hashing functions so the result of this distribute will be that every record with the same company name, last name, and zip will end up on the same node together. 
ECL has five hash functions for you to use, and you may use them outside the context of distribute. Hash is a 32-bit hashing algorithm. Hash 32 is a better 32-bit ha algorithm. Hash 64 is his big brother. Hash CRC is a standard cyclical redundancy check algorithm. And hash MD5 is a 128-bit algorithm from MIT. The dedupe function does exactly what it sounds like. Gets rid of duplicate records based on your logical condition defining what constitutes a duplicate. A simple dedupe will only check contiguous records, so you must have sorted the input record set so that the duplicate records are contiguous. But what if there's no way to sort the records so that all the duplicates are always contiguous? That's why dedupe also has an all option, which specifies matching all possible commutative pairs of records. Record 1 is compared to 2, and 1 to 3, and 1 to 4, and so on. The choose n function gives you the first n records from the record set. The set function allows you to treat a field from a record set as a set of values, so that you can use the set with the in operator. This is the same as doing a subselect in SQL. There are several conditional functions in ECL that allow you to vary your logic based on expressions that are evaluated. If is a simple if-then-else function. If the expression is true, then the result is the true value. Else, the result is the false value. Both results must be the same type of data. Map is the if-else-if-else-if-else construct in ECL. This is where the equal angle results in operator comes into play. In this example, the first expression is evaluated is the pass name type value B. And if true, the result is 1. Else if the name type is O, result is 2. Else if the first expression that is true determines the result value and stops all further evaluation of subsequent expressions. There must always be a default else value, in this case 7, to return if all the expressions are false. Case evaluates the value expression and looks for a matching case val. And when it finds one, it returns the results in val. This is like the case switch construct in C. In this example, if the value of num is 1, the return is one, and so on. Choose evaluates the integer expression and returns the value parameter in the ordinal position specified by the expression. In this example, if the value of num is 1, the return is O and E, and so on. The trim function will trim trailing spaces or leading spaces, or both trailing and leading spaces, or all spaces, including embedded spaces, from the string value parameter. Int format places the value of the integer expression right justified into a string of width characters with leading zeros or spaces. The count function does a simple count of records in the record set. And the other aggregate functions, sum, min, max, and average, all operate on the records in the record set specified as the first parameter and determine their result based on the value parameter, usually a field in the record set, but maybe any expression that results in a single value. These also have one parameter form that is designed to operate only on sets. Here, all five aggregate functions are used in both their forms. OK, let's briefly restate the things we've just gone over. One, the table function creates a temporary data set in memory, either as a vertical slice or a cross-tab report. Two, the distribute function redistributes a data set in memory so that all records with the same value for distribute's second parameter expression, usually one of our hashing functions, all end up on the same node together. Three, dedupe removes duplicate records similar to distinct in SQL. Four, when you have a choice of conditional functions to use, choose is the most efficient. 
case is the next most, and if and map give you all the flexibility you need. 5. Count, sum, min, max, and average all will operate either on record sets, their more common use, or sets of values. Replacing the record set parameter for any of these functions with the keyword group when used in a record structure for a table function creates a crosstab report. This concludes this video. Thank you.